The FMS Smasher 124 Monster Truck is here. This is a mean little beast. Guys, I'm gonna get to the table, I'm gonna show you everything that I find awesome, and we're taking it for a drive. Let's go. Here it is, guys. Check that out. Man, I can't wait to do it. I'm gonna bounce this thing like a real monster truck. Little hard body, F150, uh, like a 79. Yeah, long bed, got the roll bar. Very nice, got the lights. Now here, you have a little brush motor, 180 size right here. The shocks are just uh, simple springs. I kind of wonder if the TRX-4M shocks would fit this. If that's the case, we could actually get some dampening, but this is a monster truck. If this thing bounces like what I'm thinking it will, <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with these. Little monster truck tires, uh, portal axles with differentials. To me, that's an important thing when it comes to these style trucks. I like having a differential. Little baby drive shafts. And if you look in there, see that? Right there? That's a servo. Why? Because this thing has a two-speed transmission in it. Yeah! Now, the ESC servo or the ESC receiver is all in one. 2S LiPo. The battery's on charge right now, but that fits right there. It's got like a, this little rubber band thing right there that holds it all in place. So... Yeah, two speed. The servo kind of reminds me of the AS1 that you see in the other Axial SCX24 trucks. Um, nice little spring-loaded, ooh, is that shiny? Lost little spring-loaded servo saver there too. I like that. Yeah. Let's check out the manual real quick. Full parts breakdown, everything on here. So that's awesome. Parts are available. Yeah. Very very nice i like it so you know what oh oh yeah yeah transmission gears right here so it does come with a few spares on those got some spare o-rings and some spare shock adjusters so apparently we can raise this thing or adjust the preload on the springs i'm thinking it's going to be just fine the way it is I've added a couple stickers, you know, XOK stickers right there, but I also want to show you guys a new sticker I have on the website. Driver Mod Inside. And we're going to put one of these right here. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. I'm going to peel this little sticker off right here. They're $1.39 on the website. Simple, easy. <laughs> oh boy, this is a huge sticker for such a little truck. Now, the question is, am I going to be able to drive this like there really is a driver mod in there? I don't know, but, but I'm about to go get the battery for this thing, get it powered up. Now, as far as driving this goes, this is perfect for a living room. It's perfect for a scale arena, all that wonderful stuff. But outside, like I'm probably about to go drive this thing for you guys. Um, it might look a little slow. But we're going to test both gears, high and low, and see if we can jump this little guy. <laughs> here we go. And just in case you're wondering, if you put that little button right here into the middle, guess what? You have neutral, so you can rev it up, you know. Don't like rev it and then shift it. You may have issues. However, to turn the headlights and on, on and off, push the bind button right here. There you go. And that is actually scale accurate. Back in 79, that was our headlights. I mean, really, that was our headlights. We didn't have, you know, super white light uh, LEDs and stuff like that. All right, this is the first gear. It does have a forward double pump reverse. Second gear. Okay, so you know what this means, right? It's time to go outside. Let's do this. If there's one thing to remember, out here in the open field, this is a very small scale vehicle. So it's going to appear super slow, but it is in fact small scale. So it kind of, oh, look at that. I got a wheelie. So you kind of need the proper arena and maybe a couple of these with you 
or you and your buddies, all that. So you can do the proper racing and just have a blast with these things. I'm gonna try to ride a wheelie. There we go, got one. At the USTE, they had like a scale arena and everything set up. Perfect. But then again, I got to tell you guys, this is best for indoors with your buddies. This is first gear, by the way. That is pretty much crawler gear all day long. We're going to switch that back over. Look at that. This will be your monster truck racing. And like I say, sure, it's slow in the field, but... Anyway, I've already told you guys what the deal is with that, right? If you get three or four of these with your buddies, you're going to have competition. Keep everybody stocked. Yeah, believe me, it'll be a blast. Hopefully some of my local guys will get one of these so we can actually do some small scale monster jam racing. Let's try a big jump. If it gets any air at all, that'd be awesome. It got it! <laughs> that was awesome. This stable too. Now, I, I know I know I just mentioned stock. I know I did. I think Holmes has some actual motors that would fit for this thing. Oh look, is this like a gravel rama hill for this thing? Ah. All right, at this point, I guess I could use some lockers. Got it. Which means it's not going to have a chance at all to get in the big hill. <laughs> I, huh, huh, I'm wondering about motors. Yes, I know, keep it stock, right? Well, it's time for some durability testing. We're gonna take it off of this 375 foot high cliff. That might be proper for scale, but anyway, we're about to do this and I'm gonna get this in slow motion, just in case. Although that is not what I was expecting, it took it. Nothing's broke. Now, as far as first gear goes, honestly, I don't know that I see a need for first gear. I mean, it's not a crawler. So if you're doing stuff like this, the open dips are just gonna eat your lunch. But, I mean, I guess, Maybe, I mean, I, I don't know. I just kind of think uh, this thing will be perfectly fine with nothing but high gear. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed watching that as much as I did driving it. This little dude is a blast. It's not fast, it's not crazy. Like I've mentioned multiple times in this video, it's better inside. So you put this inside, you set up you some pillows or whatever, and you have a blast. But get a few of them because you're gonna need that. A couple of these guys, yeah, you have fun for, well, I'm not sure how long the battery lasts, but you know what, you'll be ready to go. 
Check that description. Use those links. Hit that subscribe and ring that bell. I like it. Guys, thank you all for watching. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.